Hello everyone and welcome back to the Storm Wizard 101 walkthrough series. Today is the Drake Hatchery, so let's just go ahead, not waste any time, and get into it. It's good to see you again. I see that much has changed about you. Really? You've got a Dragon Rider staff! I can hardly believe it. We must find you a Drake at once! The Mother Drake still watches over the hatchery, even after all this time. She'll know if there are any Drake eggs left. Mm-hmm. Drake eggs. So, yeah. Basically, this is the last, like, area before we start the main... Can I go down here? Is this what this is for? Yeah. Uh, before... Ooh! I didn't even see you. Uh, before we start the final boss. Malastare. Welcome to the hatchery. I suspect I know why you're here. Many have come to this place, seeking my children. But you are the first in so long. I have secured my clutch of eggs within the house, further within the hatchery. I can sense that only a few remain, though I do not know where they rest. If you would become a dragon rider, go there and find one of the last few drake eggs. Okay, the last few drake eggs. Like, what? Have they just not hatched? I like, I'm sure, like, it's been... Actually, I don't know how long it's been since Dragon Spire has fallen. I don't think they've ever said that, but I'm sure it's been like maybe like at least a hundred years or so because, you know, it's pretty ruined and I definitely feel like it would take a lot of time to get this bad. Lava instead of water? I feel like that would take a couple, you know, years at most, but um, yeah. I wonder how that happened with the eggs not hatching, but yeah, anyway, I am going- Okay, I, this better go through. I'm going to get the egg and I'll see you guys then. Okay, we're on the boss now here, and then we'll get this egg. I did miss her uh, dialogue because I thought that this was another chamber. <laughs> oh, great. Okay, that does not help me. Um, This is really not help me now. Okay, I think I will try to hit next, and we'll just Tempest again after this next temp. If all goes right. Okay, my pet's finally starting to do some action. But yeah, I'm so excited to finish out Dragonspire, where like, we are literally almost done. The next episode will be the last of Dragonspire. Like, I cannot believe it. Oh, I don't have any more TC! Oh, shoot! <laughs> well, this isn't gonna be as nice as I thought it would be. But I am hyped for Celestia. Hyped. I'm not normally a fan of Celestia, but it's been so long since I've, like, done the second arc that I'm just so excited to be back in Celestia. Oh, I killed. You find a Drake egg. Huh. I didn't think I was gonna kill, actually, because it's that shield, but, um... I guess I'm better than I actually am. <laughs> okay, um, the what's that? Matriarch, matriarch. I can I can speak English. I promise. I'm writing a book. I can say big words. I promise you, I can say big words. You found one. It is a sacred trust you hold there. In that egg, you hold the Drake's life. Once, others would have dealt with hatching it. But now, the duty has fallen to you oh. alone. So listen to my counsel, and you will soon have a fine drake to ride. First, the egg must be warmed in the purest fire. But Dragonspire's flames have all fallen cold, and now the only pure fire in the spiral is to be found in Wizard City. Go now to the cave near the Gollum Tower. I like how she's just like, go to Gollum Tower. Like, specifics. Like, she knows. Like, also, I, I've always found it really funny that, like, that's what they resorted this little cave over here to in the Gollum Court. Because I swear, I could just be talking out of my butt, but I swear that there was this point of, like, Dragonspire back in the day where you actually had to go into this cave and... Inside the cave would be the lead up to Dragonspire. Like, that's how you would know that you need to go to Dragonspire or something. Like, you would go in and you would see the flames and you would see uh, Malastare and then you would, like, go through there. I could, once again, be talking out of my butt, but, like, I swear that that's what that cave over here used to be for. And also... 
Well, that's scary. Um, also, if you're a fire student, uh, there's a fire cat that will break that. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, see, this is so Dragonspire. Like, what the heck? You warm the egg in the pure fires. Like, why? That my, That's my question. Why? I need to look that up after this episode. Even now, I can feel the baby Drake stirring inside, warming to life. A drake's egg is hard and tough, and cannot be easily broken. For this, we must aid the young drake. To this end, those in the hatchery use a sacred crystal hammer to crack the drake eggshell, so the drakeling can break through. This hammer was taken by the gallium juggernaut. Go and find it. Oh, wait. And take from it the crystal hammer we require. Let me just do a little bit of this real quick. Okay, well, good thing he's right in front of us. Oh, I can't get him. Oh, shoot, wait. No! Oh, God. Almost. I couldn't do it in time. I didn't have enough time. Almost. If I had timed that out a little bit nicer, <laughs> I probably could have done this in one hit. <sighs> it's fine. We'll just hit you again. Well, I almost got that good. Almost. Okay, we'll get him next round. Do something a little different for once, instead of just Tempest all the time. Honestly, you know, you can say what you want about Kraken, but it's really held up. It's really held up for me. I'm not gonna lie. It's held up. And I criticaled again. I really hope this crit stays for Celestia because, oh my god, I'm gonna need it there. Especially, I'm gonna need block. You have recovered for us the sacred crystal hammer. The hatching must take place on the center platform. But that place is now guarded by the forces of darkness. The renegade, Victor Snowcrusher, taints it with his presence. Go, wizardling. And face the one who keeps you from your sacred duty to hatch a new drake. When Snowcrusher is defeated, place the drake egg upon the central platform and use the crystal hammer on it. Ooh, okay, I gotta weave through here. Um, okay, I was gonna say he's not in that building because I just went there. I forgot about this little platform. Oh yeah, he's the other drakes that we need to talk to. Or at least, yeah, two of them. Okay, here he is. Imagine your name being Snow Crusher and actually being a fire. Somebody wanted to be in a different school, it seems. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really gonna miss this outfit. This might be one of my favorite outfits that I have done for this game. <laughs> it's so nice. I really like it. I love the staff, but I'm so excited to go into Celestia. Uh, I'll put one more up and then we'll hit. Because he does have a lot of health. But yeah, I already kind of know, like, in advance what outfits I want for uh, my character. Because I do need to do, like, the character art. So I... Oh, actually, I'm going to do this and then I'll hit. Um, I do kind of already know just because, um, you know, I've been playing this game for a while. So I already kind of know the outfits and, like, I already kind of know, like, in my head what I want. Because I do have to make the art. <laughs> so I have it in my brain. The picture is set of what I want. At least the robe. I know the robe that I want. Yeah. You ever get one of those comments on YouTube that you're just like, what? <laughs> you were like, what? What is she doing? That's what I'm doing. I just saw my phone light up and I was like, what? You know? That's the thing about YouTube, is you you make some really great, uh, like, acquaintances with people, like, commenters. But sometimes someone new will find your things, and whether it's a joke or just being mean, sometimes people say some things that you're just like, What? What possessed you to say that? You use the hammer. Thank you. I am pleased to meet you. Oh, he's so cute. 
I can't, I want to keep him. No, I want to put him in my backpack. He's so cute. I actually really like that skin. You have hatched a drake egg. Brought new life to this quiet, cold place. Congratulations, young wizard. And my eternal gratitude. Yeah. Though I birthed the egg and you Four hatched six. it. The young drake must now learn our ways from all of the mother drakes. It is the tradition of our kind that our wisest mothers guide us from birth. Go and speak with the two other mother drakes in the hatchery. They will impart upon you valuable words of wisdom to teach your new drake. Noise. Okay, I do remember seeing these two. I thought there were there was another one above her, but I guess not. I like how it just flew through that person's sigil. <laughs> okay. Mother War Ring. War 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 Wing. That's hard to say. Too long have the lessons I teach been unheard. I tell you then to heed these words, for they are to be honored. A drake flies swift and true and without doubt. Fear is the cold enemy. A drake's heart burns fierce and bright. Take these words of wisdom to the new drake. Oh, to the new Drake. Oh, shoot. These guys are so close. Eee. Mother Flame Strike. As is our tradition, tell the young Drake these words of wisdom. Honor is the wind upon which we ride. Without honor, we cannot soar. To lose honor is to plummet to the earth. Take these words back to the drake's mother, and then to the new drake itself. Okay, drake mother. There we go. And now I speak the final words of wisdom. Those that apply to both dragon rider and young drake. The bond you share is for life, though your paths may split and you may be worlds apart. From the rider, the drake takes compassion. And from the drake, the dragon rider takes a spark of fire for warmth in dark times. You have done well and brought joy to this place. We have other lessons to teach the new drake. Go now to speak to the dragon master. He can help you now. He can, can he? Honestly, it's really sad that we, we literally hatched this creature just to provide us, you know, a lift to get to a mountain, and then we never see this, like, animal again. Like, it's it's really sad. I'm not gonna lie. You again? What news do you bring? What? You hatched an egg? I'd never dare to dream so. The young drake cannot fight. Not yet. Its scales have not hardened. It must have armor and learn the fighting ways of dragon kind. I am such a liar, you guys. Oh my god. I forgot that there's another area we have to go through. He just reminded me. Oh god. The spirit of the Drake Smith can help us if it can be found. Go to the forum and see if he can be raised. Where's the forum at? I forgot. Okay. It's gonna be another episode before we can do this, maybe. Um... I completely forgot about the forum. Oh my god. Oh my god. I completely forgot. Maybe it's because I don't like the forum. Okay, we're going to try to do the forum in today's episode, I think. Because that was so short at the hatchery. We might as well do the forum as well. God, I kid you not, I forgot all about it because this is one of my most hated areas in Dragon Spire. I just don't like it. You know, I just don't like it. Just all the way over here in the corner for some reason. Oh my god, I can't believe I forgot all about this. This is the last area. <laughs> oh my god, my brain is not braining. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you. Who are you? Can you not leave me to my sorrows in this place of ruin? No. Hmm. You're not from the Titan army, are you? No. What's that? You carry a dragon rider's staff? I can smell drakes on you. You've just helped a new drake hatch? 
I'm honored to meet you. If you want to become a dragon rider, you must understand our traditions and our methods. It is no small thing to control a drake in combat. Go to the first room of the forum and read the great tome of dragon rider history. Where am I supposed to go? Excuse me? Oh, uh, up here. I'm getting lost. Oh, I actually want to see the little mountain carved. Oh, yeah, you can see it real nice from here. Wow, does he look freaky up there. Okay, where's this crystal? You read the great tome of Dragon Rider history. It is a huge book, full of the stories of epic battles, the heroes of the Dragon Riders and their mighty drakes. Mm-hmm. You better put me in one of those books, because I'm about to whoop some mouse there, but... Vidor. Excellent. You now bear with you the weight of our greatest prize, our history. Don't think that your studies are done, young dragon rider. There are far more lessons to be learned before we would dare let you ride a drake. Go into the second room of the forum and read the second knowledge crystal, the one called the care and feeding of dragon kind. Bro, where am I supposed to go? What is wrong with this quest arrow? These places are all over the place. Like in little holes and everything. Who are you? Creeper? I don't know. He's green, so he might as well be a creeper. Took a while to load. You read The Care and Feeding of Dragonkind. Oh. A comprehensive guide to all you would need to know oh. to keep your drake healthy and well. I glitched it for a second. I was having a little bit of fun there. Okay, uh, Vidor. Excellent. No matter how much time you spend with your drake, it's essential to know how to care for it. The third knowledge crystal you must read is the most important. It will explain how to guide your drake into battle. You will learn how to stay in the saddle and how to avoid falling to your doom. Oh. The crystal is called the Fundamentals of Dragon Riding. This knowledge crystal is kept in the third room of the amphitheater. Go now and read it. And when you're finished, you will be ready to take wing. The knowledge crystal is nowhere to be found. Oh my god, the knowledge crystal is nowhere to be found. Whatever will, sh will, will I do? Wh what do? Fedor, what do? The crystal is missing? Are you certain? That is unfortunate. Lessons contained within are essential for dragon riding. I suspect I know where the knowledge crystal has gone. Crisis came to the forum some time ago, attempting to learn our ways. We granted him access to our knowledge crystals, including the fundamentals of dragon riding, but he was instructed not to remove them from the forum grounds. Crisis may still be around. If you can find him, force him to surrender that knowledge crystal. Why would he take it, though? That's what I want to know. Like, what's his purpose? Is he gonna hiss at me like everyone else? This is not the right place. Is he gonna hiss, use his S's and go S at me? Because so far, every one of them have. Um, well, I thought that was gonna take me close to him, but it really did not. I mean, I guess it took, it, uh, took us as close to him as we can get, but... Eh. Here we go. He's probably gonna be like balance or uh, fire. Some more TCN. I'm gonna really miss this outfit. I really like this one. I'm not gonna lie. I'm really enjoying it. This Christus belongs to Crisis. Secrets of dragon riding are mine to use. Okay, and he's gonna be a storm! Lovely! I still got that first. 
What are you? Okay, that's not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. It could be bad, but it's not gonna be bad because I already got this up. I've already got this up. You can't put a myth shield on. It won't affect me if you do. Um, you know what? <laughs> Suck it. <laughs> I think I can kill him with this. I think I can. He'll boost if I get a crit. If I get a crit. If I crit. I didn't crit. Never mind. He's not dead. Nope. Oh. I tried. <laughs> I should get a I tried medal for that one. I tried. That's what matters. Do, 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 do. Okay, now my problem is that I need another prism. So I could be in trouble. <laughs> If he puts a mid shield on, I'm in trouble. Yeah, you better fizzle. Oh shoot! One more round. One more round. One more round. And you're gonna heal. Why? I'm just gonna go ahead and hit. <laughs> then I could like put on my my prism if I need to next round. Oh jeez. This isn't looking so good now. Now I crit, of course. Yeah. Let's see how much resist. He's got a lot of resist. Like a lot. Oh, yay! Thanks for that. Really appreciate you, bud. Yeah, that's coming your way soon. Just just wait a minute. Okay, yeah. Um, I'm gonna throw one of you up here. And if I could get a blade or a trap or something, that would be great. Okay, and then I'll hit next. And hopefully he'll be uh, dead. Hopefully. Wow, Sparky actually doing something. It's been a while since you've been picking up your splat, your slack, your splack, your splack. Kraken and then shark. That's just actually rude. See, I thought that we were gonna be okay at the beginning of this, but um, I lied. Apparently, we're not. We're not. <laughs> Okay, let's get a crit, please. Thank you. If I had just crit. If I had just crit in the beginning, there would have been no problem that whole battle. Don't you just love it? Don't you love it? Don't ya? Again, you surprise me with your dedication. Thank you for recovering this knowledge crystal from the thief who took it. Now that you've recovered the fundamentals of dragon riding, please return it to the pedestal in the third room of the amphitheater. With the knowledge crystal returned to its rightful place, it's time to read. Mm hmm. Time to read. Here we go. You read. Oh. It is a big book. You read The Fundamentals of Dragon Riding, a step by step guide to mounting, riding, and guiding your Drake. It is a big book and covers a lot of ground, but there are helpful diagrams and lots of examples. I love diagrams. <laughs> like, actually, because I'm not good at reading, I need visual skills. Give me some of this. Give me a diamond. No? Okay. Worth You've a shot. now learned all of the stored knowledge there is about dragon riding. I'll bet you can't wait to actually get into the saddle. 
We've spent enough time dwelling on the past. Now that you know history, it's time to make a new future. We must forge armor for your new Drake. The first step is to relight the forge, cold all these years. To light it, we need fuel and flame. For fuel, you must defeat Fangtooth Lava Spinners and take from them their coal hearts. The flame must come from the flame sacks of burning flame wings. Okay. Let's see if I can get this one. Can I? <laughs> did I get this? I think I did. Did I get it? Did I get him? Did I get him? I did not get him. Oh my god, he's got like two health or something. Ain't no way. That's just mean. That's actually just rude at this point. Okay, I'm gonna hit next. <laughs> That's actually rude. Like, I kid you not. I'm a little upset. Okay. Let's do this again. There we go. Okay. What I'm gonna do is, like, get the peat in between this. Because I think that'll let it respawn. Oh, I thought we were supposed to get the peat. Right? Oh, we have to actually get other things? Oh, great. Okay, where's the dragon? Oh, I'm getting stuck. Where's the dragon? Over here? Yeah, I figure we could get them both in battle. Maybe. Let me see if I can get two in one. Can I get a dragon? Can I get a dragon? Can I get a dragon, please? Dragon? Dragon, please? Dragon? Dragon these nuts? Dragon? Dragon? Are they gonna come over here? Okay, here they come. And Sparky's healing. Yeah, I did get a dragon. Okay, that was pretty perfect. Two battles. I hope it drops whatever I need from him. I hope it drops. This is literally the model they use for uh, our Drake. <laughs> Let's get him. There we go. Easy peasy. I know we need the peat, but I don't know when we actually have to get it. Because I remember that being a struggle. Because they're kind of widespread. Not in one area. There's like one over here. Okay, Vidor. What you want? You surely come from a long line of warriors. These will do nicely. Let us get to Vec. This is a great day indeed to see this cold forge lit hot once more. Place the coal hearts and the flame sacks within the forge so that it will heat enough for us to make your Drake's armor. You place the coal hearts and flame sacks into the forge. That's how to do it. Now, ignite the forge and it'll begin to heat up. You ignite the forge. It burns brightly and gets very hot. Really? Does it? Okay, well, what do we do next? Because I know we need Pete. I'm proud to see that forge burning once more. Careful not to touch it. It'll burn you. Now that the forge is burning bright, you'll need metal to make the armor with. Unfortunately, all of the metal we had here was stolen by the Draconian. They took our metal, tried to make armor after our fashion. But it is a poor imitation. 
You must go defeat some draconians and take from them their armor so that we might melt it down and forge new drake armor. Okay, I'll see you guys after I do that. Okay, we finally got what we need, so let's head back to our guy and hopefully get this place wrapped up. From the looks of this armor, you gave those draconians quite the threshing. Good work. I've examined the inferior armor the draconians made, and I see why it isn't as tough as proper drake armor. They forgot to use brimstone in the process of armor forging. And as a result, their armor isn't resistant to fire. I think you know what comes next. I need you to go and find us some brimstone. Don't worry, young wizard. You don't have to defeat anyone. Just gather it where it may have collected on the walls or ground. Thank you for not having to uh, defeat anyone. I hate that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I hate the defeat quest. Oh god, these spiders are in my way. Oh god! They are way too close to that. Don't do the thing, please. Oh no, I've done the thing! I've done the thing! Okay, we got our Pete. Let's get out of here. I switched realms like three times. <laughs> but it's fine. It's cool. It doesn't matter. Let's talk to Vidor. Vidor. The door. Sorry you had to get your hands dirty with that. They're almost ready. Now if we can smelt the base metal we will use to forge your Drake's armor. Go ahead and add the brimstone and those pieces of draconian armor to the forge. Be careful not to splash yourself with any molten metal. Oh. It will leave a nasty burn. Oh. Carefully. You add the pieces of draconian armor and the brimstone to the forge. The metal begins to melt. Nice. So what do I do with this melted metal? Little lava glob in my hand, I guess. You're doing well. If I didn't know better, I think you were a blacksmith, not a wizard. I will now forge the armor from the elements you have provided. This armor will be strong and will protect your drake from harm. It is best that you leave this place while I work, as the secrets of drake smithing cannot be shared. Bro, you are dead. Shut up. There is one last service you can perform for me. The helmet must be lined with the scales of a father drake. The draconians speak fearfully of a father drake, Holding out in the lowest reaches of the dungeon. You must go there at once. There are many draconians who will bar the way. When you reach the Father Drake, ask him for his loose scales to make a new set of Drake armor. He should give you them without pause. Okay, well, I'll see you guys when we get to the Drake, because it's going to be a minute. Okay, here we are, finally, at the Father Drake. Let's talk to him. You fought bravely to have reached me in this place. Many Draconians stood between here and the Academy. You wish for my scales, for a new suit of Drake armor. I am most pleased to give these to you. Ride with glory and honor. The Father Drake gives you several of his loose scales, more than you need. Okay, finally. We can wrap this area up. This is a long one. I remember now, after playing through this a little bit, I remember now why I hated doing this. Because it's awful. The forum is like the worst. Because I feel like, one, you're so excited to finally go defeat Malastare. I feel like the last areas in any world are like, God, hurry up! Because, you know, you want to get to the end. You want to get to the boss and get to the next world. That's plenty. The Father Drake must have liked you to have given you so many. Let me see here. He attaches the Father Drake scales inside the helmet of the Drake armor. I'm finished now. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I have ever made. Well, thank you. The armor is forged. No armor has had such a story of courage before it was even forged. 
Take it now to the Mother Drake in the hatchery, so that she might armor the new Drake in such fine protection. Okay, I think it'd be best if we just went here. And then just made the long way. Let's see. Oh, actually, maybe I should get a little bit of some mana first. Gonna get geared up because Malastare is next. Actually crazy. Actually crazy. It's been a very long... Well, I wanna say long. It's been pretty long. It's been nearly... About half a year so far in our walkthrough. Obviously, I'm not doing the walkthrough every single day, but <laughs> I am posting a video every single day. So, you know, it's it's definitely been a while for the first arc. So I'm super excited to see how long it'll take us for the next a couple. <laughs> next three, I believe. That's crazy. But yeah, it's been a good one. I've really enjoyed it so far. Can't wait to get to a part two. The armor. Is it ready now? You give the Mother Drake the armor. She looks at it appreciatively. This is the finest suit of Drake armor I've yet seen. It is only fitting for so great a task. The newborn Drake has been made ready for you now. There is one launching pad left in the Academy, and once armored, he will take wing and meet you there. Go and speak with Ashley, the fire tree. She will provide the last bit of guidance. Good luck, young dragon rider. All our hopes go with you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. It's almost time. Almost in the dragon spider time. Okay, Ashley. Bless us. Give us the strength to do what we gotta do. Even though I don't think Malister is that hard, I'm honestly kind of debating if I should go in solo. <laughs> just because Malister is not that hard, but I'm, I might try to find a team up just to help with like a couple things, you know. Make it a little bit faster. Ashley, bless. It's unbelievable! A new Drake has arrived at the last landing platform! I'm so excited! Are you ready to face Malastare? All that's left to do is to go to the landing platform and ride your Drake up to the entrance of the Great Volcano. If you have any friends you can summon to aid you, you will need them. Once there, you can make your way up to the Headmaster's office. Malastare should be there. He'll see you coming, so you will need to be on guard. I'm so afraid. I can't believe it, but a chill just ran down my branches. You should get that checked out. Go and face Malastare. Be the hero you've shown us you are. Okay, well, I'm gonna get us up there, and that is where I am going to end today. So if you want to see the last part of this series for Arc 1, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and I will see you with Malastare. Bye!